Metroid High School, Chapter 2, Sleepover of Surprises, Part 1. Author's Notes. Thank you so much for the good reviews. I'm so sorry it took so long to update, but I'll try to write more often now. Okay, I talk too much. Here we go! One day, Samus and Ridley and her friends, Ted, Mandy, Robbie, 111 Samus, Ridley Forever 2006, Helen, and Tio Juan were at a sleepover. Samus' parents were off on a business trip and weren't at home so they could do whatever. What should we do now? Samus quizzed her friends. I know, declared Ted. Let's play Truth or Dare. True that, Samus and company said. I don't know how to play, confessed Tio Juan. Tio Juan, everyone groaned. Then they all laughed really loud, ha ha ha, except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who was too cool to laugh. It's really easy, said Helen, who had been Tio Juan's neighbor and best friend since kindergarten. Helen and Tio Juan secretly liked each other, but were always too afraid to tell each other their true felonies. All you have to do is take turns and ask truth or dare, and then the person will choose one and you have to choose a question for them that they have to answer, no matter what, and if they choose dare, then you choose a dare that they have to do, and it's really funny, explained Helen. Ah, okay, declared Tio Juan. Everyone sheared. How about Samus goes goes first, Risley proposed slyly. Oh, brother, Samus groaned. Looks like I'm out of damn luck, Samus conceded. Samus conceded. Truth or dare, Ridley smiled like a bear. Truth. Riddle me this, riddle Ridley. Have you ever stolen something? All eyes turned to Samus as she fiddled with her fingers. Well, there was this one time. Go on, Ridley maniacally stated. Well, I was at Keaton's general store and there was this Green Day CD I wanted and I didn't have the money, so, well, Samus was embarrassed. Ha ha ha, Ridley expressed himself really loud. Mm. 111 Samus really forever 2006 sighed, ruling her eyes. You and your pretty crimes, especially for such a sellout band. Wow, you're so angsty, noticed Ted. Ugh. 111 Samus really forever 2006 moaned and went back to filing her nails with a nail filer. Everyone laughed really loudly, ha ha ha, except 111 Samus really forever 2006, who the joke was directed at. Okay, 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 I think it's Ted's turn. Okay, whatever. Nope. What the well, okay, cool, whatever, yo, Ted coolly replied with a snap, apparently. Everyone rolled their eyes and giggled, except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who was too busy listening to My Chemical Romance on her iPod Nano. What do you choose? Everyone wondered. Dare, Ted snapped. Well then, Mr. Snappy, let's see you snap at this one, was Samu's clever remark. Well then, Mr. Snappy, let's see you snap at this one, was Samu's clever remark. Everyone laughed except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who couldn't hear because her iPod was too loud. We're going to spin a bottle and you have to kiss whoever the bottle lands on. Oh no, Ted lamented. What if it's Tia Juan? Well, you have to do it anyways, because that's the rule of the game, Samus affirmed. I have a bottle, Mandy made known to the people. The bottle spun around in a runod and a rundo until it finally landed. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the bottle spun around in a runod and a rundo. <laughs> You spell that wrong three times in a row. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. The bottle spun around in a run nod and a rundo until it finally landed on 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006. Looks like I have to kiss 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006. Ted announced. Ugh, very well. 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 anxiously agreed to. But this is only for this stupid game. You never have or ever.
never will have a chance with me. Yeah, okay, Ted mentioned as he sneakily stalked over to 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 and got real close. Let's just get it over with. Then, Ted leaned down and gave her a kiss, and everyone giggles and he tried to put his hands in her hair, but she did not let him and she slapped him and it hurt because she was really strong. In your dreams, blubber brain, 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 pwned. <laughs> In your dreams, <laughs> in your dreams, blubber brain, 111 Samus really Forever 2006 pwned. Hey, my brain is not made out of rubber, Ted pointed out. I'm not sure about that, Robbie snapped back, apparently for the first time in this entire story. Hey! Everyone laughed except 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who didn't think the joke was very funny. Okay, 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 it's Tio Juan's turn, everyone agreed. Ah, corroked Tio Juan. Uh, I choose truth. Okay, we get to ask one question, Samus reminded Tio Juan. What is your deepest, darkest secret? Tio Juan looked nervous. I like someone in this room. The statement brought a lot of commotion because everyone wanted to know who Tio Juan liked, except 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who was completely uninterested. Is it Samus? Is it Mandy? Is it 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006? Actually, Tio Juan wrapped his arm around Helen, who was sitting next to him, and closed in and gave her a very big kiss. Everyone cheered and clapped their hands, except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who was downstairs pouring herself a glass of lemonade. <laughs> Helen, Tio Juan said after they were done kissing. I've always loved you since I met you, but I was too afraid to tell you. Tio Juan, I love you too, Helen confirmed, and the two lovebirds kissed again and again until everyone told them to stop, except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who wasn't back from getting a soda yet. Ah, okay, Tio Juan shouted, let's finish the game. <laughs>